Greg said, oh, you know, we should bring those home. I think she's probably the most frightening person I've ever played. The only thing that got me through the day was my hatred of them. <laughs> it was a form of energy, helped me to survive. I thought, I can, I can do this because I want to kill those people. Team Emma. It's always so good to it's see you. It's so nice to see you too, darling. I love when I get to chat to you. Although, <laughs> I have to say, I'm so glad you're nothing like your character in this. Because oh, I... you terrified me. She's frightening, isn't she? You're quite scary in this. I think she's probably the most frightening person I've ever played. <laughs> really? Probably. Did you feel scared playing her? Yeah, and she was just... <laughs> just people that I knew, you know, I'd come on set and... they go, oh... Actually... I've got something to do over here. It's very much kind of avoidable. <laughs> no, it's extraordinary. I probably would have avoided you on set as well. You did the whole the whole get up. It's terrifying. Uh -huh. How did you first feel when you were initially asked to take on this character? Because it's one of like the most kind of famous, formidable villains. I mean, I've been terrified of her since the first film. <laughs> and the book, you oh. know. Well, it's interesting, isn't it? Because there's lots of different versions of it. Because in the book, she just shouts all the time. And this version, she she gets quite quiet sometimes, which I think is very scary. Um, and then, then in the first film, which of course isn't a musical, um, she's she, again she's a bit more shouty and a bit more sort of recognisable. I think I think there's something very genuinely sort of sinister about this version mm -hmm. of Transformer. I think that's because Matthew Warchus, the director, wanted her to be absolutely real. So there's something of the camp commandant about mm. her that's very dark, but sort of delicious. And yeah. the children loved watching it. They loved pretending to be scared, you know. And how is your, your jaw and your face muscles here? Because you've got a lot of words <laughs> in your songs. I didn't think it was possible for someone to say that many songs and that many words in a song. I know, it was actually as tough. It was <laughs> tough. You really got to work it. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. But what was wonderful was that we were um, performing the songs live. And I think that's a real gift mm -hmm. to the actor because you know you can't do it again. You can't then go and do it in a studio. It's not the same thing at all. And you're not, you're not lip syncing to something. You're really doing it. So I think that was a great help. I was very grateful to our MD, Chris Nightingale, just wonderful, making that possible. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're honestly amazing in those scenes particularly, but with the prosthetics and the, and the outfit, did you have to sort of train yourself yeah. <laughs> to get ready to perform in that? You really did. You really just <laughs> prayed for a good night's sleep because it was terrifying. In fact, there was a wedding on in the hotel I was staying at the night before I had to do the first oh, song, no. the Hammer song, and someone was playing trance music till five <laughs> o'clock in the morning at the wedding. Oh, no. I think there may have been Class A drugs involved. <laughs> anyway, I went downstairs and thought, oh my God, I've been kept away all night oh, by no. these people. And actually, the only thing that got me through the day was my hatred of them. <laughs> it was in a form of energy, helped me to survive. <laughs> I thought, I can, I can do this because I want to kill those people. <laughs> Those newlyweds. You never feel like listening to trance until I know, five a.m. Trance at a wedding. I'm... And trance, no. No, it's what? not right. What on earth? I, just I find... give it six months. <laughs> Aye, if that, if not ready to divorce. <laughs> and just finally, then the boots. Have you kept them? Obviously. <laughs> I want to see them Obviously. tonight at the premiere. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Greg said, "Oh, you know, you should bring those home." Thank you yeah. so much. You honestly make me laugh so much. My jaws are sore just from laughing at you this time. <laughs>